Hello guys, uh, today is another video where we will make an update on the situ situation on the market and talk and check how the trades from previous videos are running. Okay, uh, so let's start uh, from the update about the uh, Evergrande's because it seems like eventually they will be able to pay the latest 83 million bond coupon according to Reuters. So it looks like all bondholders will get their payment before the 30 day grace period expires. So we got the information that uh, it is not clear <laughs> how they got the money, but hey, this is China, who knows? And they also uh, don't look further to restructure the 300 billion debt. Uh, so it must be settled in one of the ways we discussed here on this channel previously that either they are selling the properties at lower price and raising the cash from these actions, or the local government is bailing them out indirectly through banks. So we need to wait for more information. In a week, I will make a separate video about the situation in China. This will be an update exclusively about that. So if you're interested in that, just follow the channel. Last thing I want to mention to support my theory that this will not be something terrible is that the market is pricing every publicly available information within 3 to 30 months. If we check Evergrande's stock chart, it shows that the market evaluated this event long before the media made it big. On top of that, if we still fear because we received other news about yet another developer who can't pay their interest on bonds, you need to know that Chinese stock market is around 5% of the global stock market capitalization. US is the biggest, of course, it's around 45-50%. to So overall, it takes a bit more to derail the market and turn the trend into bearish one. So, another thing is UK. Bad news also comes from there, where potential slaughter of the energy companies might come to reality as gas prices rose rapidly, there is no wind to power up their turbines, and the biggest problem, which is the energy price cap in UK, which limits the companies how much of a production cost they can charge the customers and of course this is to protect the household, but the effect of that policy is a bankruptcy of many energy suppliers. And yet more to come. The solution to this can be some subsidy from the government to the companies or raising the level of the price cap, this limit, right? But this could be an unpopular decision, as you might guess. But now maybe let us switch to the platform to check maybe how the UK stock market is going. And let's see the trades which we were discussing in uh, the previous videos. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, uh, we are now in the client's cabinet and maybe let's uh, check how... Maybe let's uh, check how the stock indexes are as for the uh, FTSE. How it is going on FTSE. Uh, this is the index of uh, the British market. It's like S&P 500, but for Great Britain. Maybe let's delete that. Let's okay. Let's leave those dots, and let's zoom out. And clearly, we can see that still they are lagging behind. Uh, they are lagging behind the pre-pandemic levels. So the we can see the effects of the Brexit and the effects of the anti anti most popular on the planet disease policy, uh, meaning i.e. lockdowns, uh, right? So uh, we can clearly see that uh, currently the Great Britain stock market is not doing very, very good, although they have clear uptrends right now, but it is due to, you know, s simply the recovery uh, after the, you know, very strict and long lockdowns. But if we compare it even to, for example, German DAX index, we can see that the British are not doing especially well. So we can see clearly that German companies, uh, Ger German stock market is uh, doing pretty, pretty good right now. But if you still compare it to American, the US stock market, which is the biggest one, You will see that there we don't need any words for that <laughs> we see that uh, currently 
they are doing the best and uh, yeah fun fact i didn't i don't know if you if you you know connect the connect the facts but uh we can say that if you strip down the us stock market from the tech companies like those the, the apple netflix and uh, for example other other facebook google you will have you will have uh, something more similar to the thing that we see in the germany or in the or in the uk because most of the rally most of the capitalization even most of the s p 500 index most of the nasdaq index are those the biggest companies like i said uh, google amazon google amazon uh, apple etc so uh, if you strip down the us market from those companies you will have something similar to this uh, thing so uh, we were talking about right the high margins uh, the very good uh, business model they are not tied to any locations they are not tied to some supply shortages and, and stuff like that most of them for example the, the facebook and and google they are selling uh, they are selling digital products digital services so uh, these companies as i said uh, a couple of minutes ago they are the best for the late stage of the uh, bull market and the beginning of the bear market uh, so maybe let's also so maybe let's also check our check our trades so uh, those two the google and inovia uh, this is the pharmaceutical company google we all know um, what they do and what uh, what uh, kind of this is uh, what kind of company this is so basically i was uh, in the previous video i was talking about uh, some strategies and approach to take uh you know sh short term trades on the stock market and if we check the history those two are still left uh, they didn't hit nor the stop loss nor the take profit so if we check the history, you can clearly see that uh, these two were those uh, previous trades. Okta hit the stop loss and Pepsi hit the take profit. Right now we are around uh, 6 euros down. And so we are still waiting for those two trades on the Google and Innovio company uh, to hit their targets or their limit levels so we will have to evaluate at the end of uh, their trades what was happening why we were stopped out what we could change in the strategies and uh, and what was good what did work out because uh, right now we are one to one we are down six euros based on the profitability but the win rate ratio is one to one currently and uh, so the next thing next video will be uh, about this uh, monthly portfolio and uh, we will discuss what went wrong what was what went good we can say right now all is good but it can change uh, it can change you know in a matter of a session or two a trading session or two and yeah we will analyze uh, which uh, stocks uh, to add which to remove from the portfolio and uh, yeah we will uh, analyze uh, the whole uh, the whole model that we that we choose to uh, make decisions based on this model so if you are interested into this kind of stuff uh, follow this channel and also check light finance on other social media like instagram and tiktok i am posting uh, educational stuff over there too for example i'm explaining various gauges uh, various macroeconomic gauges and uh, strategies that you could apply as well as into the stock market and as for uh, the short-term trading in uh, the forex and on commodities so uh, check them out over there too and i see you in the next one Take care, guys. Bye.